gönül değil değil değil. Kısa olsun diye biz ancak bu dersleri en sevdiğim gördüm. What do you mean? What do you think about this? What is adjective do you write to it? Lata, Samir, you know, all these names, who are you named after? We have done this exercise over and over again. You can even do something fun. You can write down five top names in today's world from politics to sports. Let's say Virat. How, what do you think of Virat now suddenly? I know there's a Kohli comes to mind, but do you know other Virats around? How do they feel? Or what about a name like Narendra? That's a prime minister's name. And we respect our prime minister in the position he's in. But what about another Narendra that you know of? A friend of yours, someone who may not really enjoy being called by that name. Or maybe a, a very common name with regards to Donald. And the only name that comes to my mind is Trump right now. Any Donald that you know besides the duck that we think of? How are some names? Tom, Dick and Harry, we often use it. Do you like being named this way? Any names that you think are really, really outrageous? You know, I, my name is Dawood. And of course, people ask me, should I call you Dr. Dawood or Mr. Ved? Or how do you, I said, as long as you are not afraid, I'm fine with that name. Except your name is wonderful. It's not your name, but the fame is the deed you do, the karma that you do. So tell people what legacy you've got, what you, you think about yourself. And then, of course, there is a game we play called the adjective game where you write the name and you find some funny executive, creative executives, anything around your friends also. The last thing in interpersonal relationship is we've seen three as a company. You know, what I mean by it is there's so many stories with threes into it. You know, I just use Harry, uh, you know, uh, the, the uh, Tom Dick and Harry or uh, Larry Moe and Curly. What about the three? Three is an interesting concept, not two. Two is a pair. Three as in, you know, one of the strongest uh, object triangle with, with shapes is, is a triangle. Perhaps you need to find your three best people. Why are three so common? Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Amar, Akbar, Anthony, you know, X, Y, Z, three musketeers, three little pigs. Three is so popular. Find about all the threes that you see even in business. So you can play this game in multiple ways. One is what's so special about these three names, Amar, Akbar, Anthony, and you can discuss it's a religion thing, it's the personalities, it's just the approach of the people. Or Alpha, Beta, Gamma, why not we do the... What about D and E? There is something around it. We have not talked about it. Why don't you do the entire alphabet which is used in signals, in, in ships? You know, Z is for Zenith. Perhaps there are a lot of letters you don't know. You can do a fun around it. Then you can do a business side of it where you talk about the three famous letters. IBM, CAT, CNN. These are companies. Why are they so popular? Three is an easy number. Less than, you know, four, more than two. Just the perfect thing like the Goldilocks number. What do you mean by the Goldilocks number? Well, tell them the story of this little girl and the three bears. Again, three here. But when she found the best bed, the best soup, the best bed, she said that's what a Goldilocks condition is. Earth is called the Goldilocks planet, a side study, because the only planet where life can exist, just the right primordial soup converted into a habitat that has enough oxygen, enough plants, right water, and we are surviving here. So you can do many alternate versions of this particular thing. Tell me what did your student find out. They will come up with something more interesting than we all know about. And have fun. As always, it's all about good learning. Hope you learn better. All the best. Good luck.